Oh, it's so beautiful. I am so excited for this video. I am a 12 year old boy at heart. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. You could live well, stay true. What is up, y'all? Back with another mukbang bang here for you today. Just to start this video out, I want to go ahead and thank individually and collectively every single one of you that dropped a RIP and condolences and we're feeling, you know, positive energy towards me for the passing of my friend, the tragic and unfortunate passing of my friend. Anybody out there who dropped a story regarding, you know, similar tragedies that they've experienced, my heart goes out to you. I'm sorry you've ever had to deal with that. It's life. It's going to happen as we get older and progress. Um, these things are unavoidable, but I'm hoping that for all our sakes, it doesn't happen very often for the rest of our lives. This video and the story time going along with it is going to be the update of that situation. Of course, now I know all of the details, everything that pretty much happened. I feel like because I made a video about it the one day and it's knowledge now out there on the channel and to, to at least a good amount of people that I feel like you guys would, would want to know the rest of the story. So that's why I'm going to share it. And also, you know, things also other things have occurred as well outside of just knowing about it like you know we've had some events and this that and the other so we're going to get into that but first what do we got well of course you can see it with your beautiful two eyes and i'm right up close i can smell it uh somebody requested for me to do raising canes unfortunately canada is lame af when it comes to fast food uh the game and we don't have great spots like that. I want to try Raising Cane super bad, but unfortunately I can't. So what am I doing instead? I'm doing these boxed chicken fingers, but these are pretty proper. I'm not going to lie. They're made by Pinties and their quality is pretty hot. The fries, of course, the infamous extra crunchy black hoodie fries. And then you guys have a front row ticket to the Joel Santana concert. And by that, I mean... You got the dip set and the dip set is popping off right now i got everything lined up i got the honey mustard i whipped that from scratch ketchup of course the hidden valley ranch show to hidden valley always brand deal give me a brand deal i love you uh and then also we got the mayo to go with some fries right in back here switching things up today nans is coming through with a strawberry Milkshake, 99 cent at the store for this. It was a hot deal, I grabbed like five, but I crushed everyone except for this one. So that's going down in this video. I don't know why, I just think it would be a nice little additive. Uh, now you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I got an, I, 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 I have ice in a cup and I'm gonna put this in it. I don't know how uh, many of you out there do that as well, but I, I don't know. I'm basically Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie Batman Forever. I am the Iceman or Mr. Freeze or whoever, whoever the fuck he is. I just love ice and everything. Over the brim. You know what I'm saying? So, this to me is a dream set meal. And I can't wait to get into it. And also update you guys about this situation that... Very unfortunate, very tragic. And it rattled me to the core for like a good little while. Um, now that everything's kind of been processed, I'm doing much better. So first things first... Let's crack into a cold one. We gotta pour up. Oh shit, that looks, this reminds me of, do you guys remember there was, like you know Sobe, the drink Sobe's? I don't even think those exist anymore with the lizard. There used to be like a strawberry banana one, I think it was, and it had like the same exact look, but a way different flavor profile, obviously. But I loved that drink. I wonder what happened to the brand Sobe's. Hmm, I don't know. All right, looking beauty. So, just pop this off to the side here. Buffalo sauce on these guys, regular nakeds. And fries, I gotta kick it off with the buffalo. I have to kick it off with the buffalo. And I'm going directly for the Hidden Valley Ranch. So we're gonna do a first dip. Shaky cam. Very shaky.
Mm, yes, please. So good. Mother may I have another. Wow. Unreal. Buffalo sauce, perfect. And of course, start eating, and I get an itchy nose. What else is new? I had to take a time out. I know that these are going to get messy on the finger. I'm going to have to keep licking and wiping and everything, so I'm just going to kind of fork it for these guys. A little half piece and a dip. And I can give you a better, less shaky cam, I think. There you go. So, let's recap this tragedy that occurred with my friend. Wake up one morning, boss texts me, hey, I don't know if you've heard, but so-and-so has passed away. He drowned, unfortunately, in a tragic event in Halifax, visiting his mother. Very vague information. I'm rattled. Day goes on. I do a video on here, tell you guys about it. I don't know any details at this point. <clears throat> I'm chilling, trying to progress with my day. These thoughts just keep running through my head. I can't stop thinking about it. I'm tripping because I want to know more as well, right? I'm feeling crazy bad, but... I also like to know more. Also, I just have to take a quick... Just give a shout out to this uh, honey mustard sauce. It's so amazing. So... Text my boss. Hey man, this is really messing with me. Do you know like any more details? He's like, I'm super busy, but it was covered by the news. So if you just Google it, there's a few like documented videos from news sources and everything kind of about it essentially just telling me i'll talk to you more about it later but for now you can just google it so i google it this is the part where i wish i didn't do that i kind of wish i just didn't google it So, Google it, start watching the story with all like the footage and whatnot. And so, it shows, you know, shots of the lake and da 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 da. Everything else. He was on a very small, like, inland lake. No waves, not the ocean shore like a couple hundred meters away and these are all the factors that make it so crazy and tragic to me and like just leave me almost like frustrated and like just like it seems so easily avoidable but what essentially happened was when he was there he bought this giant inflatable duck for the water to play play on the water in lounge paddle around on it drink whatever i don't know whatever you do on a giant duck so some of the most eerie parts of this whole thing are that the days leading up to it he was instagramming this whole thing with the duck like he was blowing it up and you know getting on it for the first time and a picture of him out in the lake dr drifting on it and that was the wrong dip and 
So he was documenting this duck that he had that he wanted to use in the water. And he had pictures of him on it and everything like that. So when I watched the clips from the news, they had a clip of the duck. And the eeriest part is that his caption on one of his Instagram photos was, when he's trying to blow up the duck and that, it was, man struggles with duck part one. And that was just so eerie because it's like, that's ultimately what ended up happening. Like him struggling to get back on this duck to not drown and die. So that's creepy, eerie, weird, not enjoyable part of the story, part one. I'm also watching these news videos and there's a guy who's like, I don't know, Greek or something or whatever, but he doesn't have the best English skills, but he was interviewed because he witnessed the drowning from shore because he wasn't that far out. He said he came outside to go for his evening swim. He saw a man bobbing up and down in the water, screaming for help. He tried to swim out to him and get to him. By the time he was there, he was gone. He had already gone under. So, that's the next disturbing part about it, is that my friend, when this was happening to him, could see somebody, potentially, that who could save him, and like could see all around him. The shore, the beach, houses, probably people, like a boat, a sea dude, you know what I mean? Like, just, you know, that close. So that's super fucked up. And then the next part that really fucked with me that I just wish I had never seen and heard about is that they couldn't find his body for the first, like, I think it was like almost 30 hours, so. He spent, or his deceased self, like just spent a night or more, like a night at the bottom of a lake, a murky lake, just down there, like, ugh. They did eventually recover his body, and they showed a clip of, the, the divers and the people on the boat pulling over his body in a white bag, like a deceased body bag. But just the image of that, like just seeing the actual, like the weight of his body being dragged over the side of a boat in a bag, I'm thinking to myself, like, I know that guy. Like, I've legitimately spent time with that guy. Drunk, all the shit, like, whatever. Parties, work, everything else. So that really, like, set me in, like, a really shitty, strange mood and spiral for, like, a bunch of days. Because I'm just tripping out, like, thinking about it. Everything. So at this point, it's just still very vague of what exactly happened, though. Like, was he drunk? You know, was he alone? Was there somebody with him? You know, all these questions. Like, how did it happen? Did he, like, somehow hit his head or whatever? So I don't know any of this yet. My boss calls me. To actually have a talk and an update about what's going down. Because she knows more. More specific. Turns out. 
he was at some family gathering and there were some other like neighbors and people and stuff around and he went out on the dock with like the neighbor's daughter she was like a younger you know 20 early 20s girl they went out on the dock I don't know any more true details further than like how he went down or whatever, but what happened was he ended up in the water, can't get back on the dock, I'm guessing, or whatever. We don't really know the details around this, but it said, and this is what's frustrating to me, and I almost like, just because he was such a smart, intelligent guy, and I just, I'm like, it, it just gets me frustrated. It turns out that he didn't know how to swim. So he flirted with death by, but he, in his head, I'm sure he was thinking, okay, this large duck, I don't need a life jacket or anything. I'll be fine. It's a small lake. I'm on this large duck. Even if I fall off or whatever, I can just get right back on this duck. But if anybody has spent any time in water, like I have, you'll know that when you're in water, especially when you don't know how to like tread water and you don't really know what you're doing, to get back onto something, to get back in a boat, sea to on a tube, anything like that, to get from water on into something is very challenging. It's super difficult. Especially with like an, an inflated thing, they become super unstable because they're on the water and they're full of air. So when you put your weight on it, it just pulls back and tips and you slip and it's wet and et cetera, et cetera. So in my head, I'm thinking that's what happened. He fell off. He didn't know how to tread water. Didn't know how to swim. She tries to help as best she can, but she's a girl. Probably doesn't have the strength to get him, save him. Also, most people drowning end up drowning the person trying to save them anyways. So it's like kind of, it's a difficult thing to deal with. Anyway, so I find out that she essentially, I think, watches him die. So she's going to be messed up because she came back to the shore on, like, she got rescued by, or, like, picked up later by, like, a paddle boat or a canoe, I think it was. So she, this girl's alive. She has to go report back to all the people what just happened. That's... I'm just thinking about it from their perspective, how crazy it would be. I'm getting lit up by these, but how crazy it would be, like, just to have to go back and, like, look at his mom in the face and be like, I just watched your son drown. Like, she's going to be traumatized from that for, if not her whole life, definitely a long while. So I find out that aspect of the story. And it's basically at this point, it's like, okay, I know pretty much exactly what happened, right? So it's nice to have these answers, but at the same time, it actually just opened up a whole new world of like disgusting, like terrible, like thoughts. Like for days, I was just. Every thought that entered my head was like, me in his perspective, like living that, living that nightmare. Just like having somebody so close to you, like this person right here, they can't help you really. Like you're going down, you're panicking, you're freaking out. You're like, is this like, I'm going to die. Like you're thinking you're probably going to die. Like that's fucking with you. You can see all these people, like somebody coming to try to swim out to save you. And I just kept going over these thoughts in my head. And like, it was just really messing with me to put myself in his perspective. And, and that girl too, that girl's perspective is also crazy. I'd lose my shit if I witnessed that. I would feel so like responsible or something. So guilty. 
so those thoughts just kept playing in my head and and yeah I just stewed and dwelled on it for like a lot of days and just tried to like get wrap it around my head and just try to figure out you know how to stop ruminating on it so yeah I feel super bad for his mother because he was an only child and his dad wasn't in the picture. She's raised him his, uh, as a single mother her entire life. He was her entire world and they had a super close relationship. So. I can't even imagine what she's dealing with going through. Absolutely crazy. And yeah, and that's just obviously everybody close to him and all the people that I know that know him and then us just all kind of like talking about and stuff and just crazy. Um, so Within, um, I don't know, a week, I guess, or so, or what? Has it been about two weeks now? I guess it's been two weeks. Within the week, my bosses uh, opened up the top floor of their restaurant and held a, like a wake memorial sort of thing. Anybody who ever knew him to drop by. Um, had other local businesses and things uh, send out like f food to just like sponsor the event, food and booze and everything. And everything that was purchased uh, was all charitable and going directly to his mom to help with just funeral costs and everything else. Just, just to help her in some sort of way, monetarily and et cetera. And... Yeah, his reach was wide in the city, man. A lot of people came out. A lot of people came and supported. Uh, ended up raising six grand through that for his mom. Uh, I also started a GoFundMe for his mom as well, and that raised, I think it was like, the goal, the target was like 5000 And it like... It smashed that. It got like twelve thousand. I don't know what it is now. It's probably even more. Probably fifteen. So, there's all that, and then his friends are. It's like really close friends are gonna start some sort of charity in his name, essentially as well for every year and stuff like that. So it's been handled very like properly going forward and everybody's come out and supported and done their part. So that at least feels good. And uh, this weekend on Saturday was the actual funeral out in the west, uh, east coast of Canada in Halifax. Um, that's where they had the funeral. And I know a bunch of people from here that were able to go. And like my bosses, the guys who like he was employed under that own the restaurants, they all went out to, uh, you know, say their condolences and be there for it and support. And, you know, meet and talk to his mom, you know, and try to comfort her as, mu as much as possibly, as possibly as possible, um, which I'm sure at a moment like this is almost impossible. So that's everything. That's the whole thing that has happened and it's all gone down and. I can't believe it still. It's just so tragic and just 
Seems like so easily unavoidable. Unavoidable. What am I saying? So easily avoidable. So if there's anything you can take from this, if you can't swim, if you're not a strong swimmer, don't flirt with the water. Don't flirt with your life with the water. Also, take the proper precautions in the water. Respect the water. The, res the water can take you real quick. Use your head. Be smart. Be safe. Don't put yourself at unnecessary risk. Which is not worth it. You know, you might, life might just snap, snap you up real quick if you do, so. I'm sorry to anybody if that story was a little too much. Like, it's, I know it's a lot to take in. It's kind of, you know. It's hard to hear and I'm sure there's other people that have said similar things and it's probably very relatable and you know might have be reminded you of, of those events in your life so uh, I'm sorry if that was a problem at all but I feel like I just needed to share it because like I said I I introduced it and I feel like I needed to finish the details of it um, so I think we've uh, done everything we needed to do here I hope you enjoy that until the next video, eat good, live well, and stay true.